Okay, this is Dead Man's Way, or Game Freak even. Uh, how to install Flash Me. Over there, I've just a second done the uninstallation. This is more of a tutorial of how to reinstall it. So you'll need a flashing tool. You need a flashing tool for any type of modification. You'll need a pass card or a boot up solution. But let's even for this time use something completely different. But now for something completely different. Let's use this Supercard DS1 as I barely use it. Okay. Okay, here we go. So you can see a little picture of a chip with a lightning through it. Very nice way of showing flash me and the fla and the that same with the cross through it is the uninstallation. Okay, of course I can't uninstallate it because it's already it's not even got any firmware. You're gonna need to take off the back and when you're flashing it it's the very bottom one and this will be under a sticker so bear that in mind that body warranty that type of crap okay here's flash me okay this is how to do it you just press xb xb now you get your jumper and you put it in the slot Okay, it's at 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. My DS is now flashed. Take it out. You can do whatever you want now, but it's very highly advised to remove any pass cards and shit. Uh, any stuff. Okay, I'm just popping my super card as it just proves that I can boot onto it. As you can see, let's watch that again. Wow, look at that. I've removed the usage for a pass me. I can now formally sell it on eBay or whatever I want to. Give it to a friend as a gift. But if you ever want to reinstall anything or you kind of mess up your DS and buy a new one, you will need it. So I'm keeping mine. Okay. So, of course. Okay, I just hit the button. Just start to pick up. Oh. Okay, there we go. That's it. So, remember, it's a little hole underneath the sticker which is there. It's got two little bits of metal. As you can't see on the video, of course. Make sure uh, this is just a ordinary cocktail stick wrapped up in uh, foil with the end cut off, of course, first, so you get a nice flat. I find if you then bash it on the table to flatten it really much, really well, and then slot it into your DS without thing, and then it will push it out and straighten it. So that's good. Okay, so that's basically the tutorial. Thanks for watching. And that's how you flash a DS. Hopefully nobody else will nobody will actually break the DS doing this, but of course there's always a risk of it. So if you so even if you follow these rules and stuff, you still can end up with a break DS, so bear that in mind. Nothing if you break it, I'm not gonna get you a new one. Okay, with the DS light, if you're doing it with DS light, people have to remember that this is a bit difficult. Firstly, flash me is a bit more hard to put on it two reasons. First of all the SL1 is very close to okay on this one that little put there if you jumped it it could short and blow up your DS but of course it's quite far away from this one. The main danger is putting it with a conduct into the wrong tool. Okay let's just have a little look in there. The magnificent light As you can see, the holes are so close together, it's almost impossible not to hit each other. It's only about a quarter of a millimeter from each, from the end, from the edge of it to the other thing. So if you're putting your thing in, 
you have to be very, very careful. Wrap the end up with, uh, it's like, try and use as much sticky tape as possible so only the end is showing, that's one method. But even then it's not guaranteed or that safe, so I would stay away from it. But, uh, I'm expertise, I I've had a bit of experience after flashing DS's, quite a few DS's. Mainly because my own one, I, I did something wrong with it and I had to reinstall it. But that's another thing, you may have to be required to reinstall it. So, hope you have a good time and enjoy the new magic of the f DS, but flashed. Okay, good night.